Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back to another stream. And let me have a look at my Pokemon real quick. Pokemans. Where are my Pokemans? How did this game work again? Uh, I was dragging Oshawott and Cyndaquil along. And you three and my big boy dragon. Okay. So, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while since we've returned to Pokemon Legends Arceus. And a reason why was... Obviously, Elden Ring. Now, a little while back, I think on Pokemon Day, they released a new update called... Daybreak? Yeah, I need to think of the title of the update. And it added new mechanics and new side quests and some other shit. Now, I don't exactly remember what everything was, but I do know one thing, and it has to do with the Pokemon Outbreaks, called Pokemon mass civ outbreaks something like that like these but then bigger and that's what we're going to start off with today uh I, th I don't think it's that much content we should be able to get through in one stream and depending on how i actually feel we might do some shiny hunting because I don't feel so great today. I'm very cold, and I am really, really wanting to go to sleep. But that's aside. Let's get started. So, we meet here again. I've been hearing plenty about your impressive exploits, but of course, I've always known you would impress us ever since you dealt with that alpha cricket tune for me. I've had my hands full as well. I've n no idea why, but Munchlax keeps trying to run off in different directions. Munch? Munchlax, where are you off to now? I'm not sure what he's so focused on, but he just up disappears without warning. Keeping track of him has been quite a task. Mon! Well, was that just now? It almost seemed to be responding to Munchlax. Your arc phone is reacting to Munchlax and displaying his destination. Hmm, it's pointing to Ramana's island. Let's go have a look. My, my, isn't this exciting? I wonder if we're about to see another strange phenomenon sweep across this sweep. Or perhaps I'm reading too much into things. Could I ask you to visit Ramana's Island to try to shed some light on this new mystery? A new anomaly! Okay, so they just want... oh, they just want me to go all the way there. Uh... I'm going to need to remember how all the buttons work in this game. Because I've been playing too... well, too much. I've been playing a lot of... Legends Arceus... and uh, no, Legends Arceus Elden Ring, and this is definitely... a different turkey, so to say. Are we supposed to see something? Okay, no. Just need to trigger the cutscene somewhere. Did 
This seems to be the place Maya's Munchlax was interested in. Oh, what? Better report back to Maya about the Zordiga. Can I actually do something with these guys? Uh, how did I stealth again? Oh, B. Because what do I still need to do with Zorya? To max them out. Because that's another Pokemon that I technically want to try and shiny hunt. Defeat. Seen to use Snarl and Caught during the night, though. We did all the food ones, though. Obviously, we want to try and capture them. Um... They actually do like to fight, sort of, so that's fine. <clears throat> but they will die very quickly. Where did the other one go? Still need to use a shit ton of strong style moves with uh, Garchomp. Back to Heights Camp it is. So yeah, I actually 100%ed um, the entire Shinx line. Got like a, a star, everything done on them. So I was actually shiny hunting uh, the Alpha Lucio. What's your investigation? Please tell me what you found. Mass outbreak? That hardly tells me anything. What kind of Pokemon did you see then? They were Zorua. The spiteful fox, Zordua? Well, you came across a rare Pokémon. I've seen them in the Icelands before, but not here. So, was that it, no one Schlex? You were curious about Zordua? Wait. <laughs> this is unexpected. It seems there are two more Schlex now. But naturally, I would never fail to recognize my own Munchlax. It's you, right? Not the Munchlax next to me. The other one. Wow. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so it was sort of a... How odd for it to appear in the field's lens. Man! Can we hope that this isn't an omen of something unpleasant yet to come? As a precaution, it might be best for you to report this to your captain. <laughs> uh, that was great. <sighs> Unbelievable. Catching these at night is best to do in the Alabaster Islands anyway. Making it night, go to the spot to get capture one, then go back to the camp, make it night again to respawn it. <sighs>
Kochika, what are you? What's wrong with you? You're a talented Survey Corps member I keep hearing about, right? I have a favor to ask you. You know Orbor Tunnel, yeah? The tunnel near Obsidian Falls? I'm hoping to dig into the tunnel walls to see if I can find any good stone there. But a Pokemon's been raging about and getting in my way. It's more than I can handle. Think you could calm it down for me? Do my best. That's a new one. Wait, 103? I thought they only added three new requests. And uh, three, five. I'm very bad with the buttons in this game. Select. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see. I know that a few of them are pretty battle related. Orbo tunnels. Obsidian Falls. Hmm, I suppose there's no end to study of Pokemon, even if the Pokedex is complete. Wait, Kamado? Oh, Silene. Commander, Captain, same fucking thing. It's not. It's a different rank, Yordi, but sure. <laughs> Silene. Gathering Zora on a place other than their natural habitat. Could this also have been caused by the space time rift? I suppose we don't know enough yet to say for certain. Anyway, thank you for the report. Oh, that was easy. Hey, Ultra Balls, Epicorns, and Tumble Stones. Free stuff. Lunch! Yordi, things are growing worse. After we part, Munchlax reacted to several different locations, and there was a mass outbreak at each one of them. Simultaneously in multiple locations? Hmm. <laughs> These must be somehow different from the mass outbreaks we know. Why don't we call this a new phenomenon? Massive mass outbreaks? Their new orders are to investigate this massive mass outbreak. Aye aye, Captain. It sounds like you can count. I can count on you to keep investigating. Well, then I'll be waiting for you by the front gate. <sighs> I'll be fair. I do like this addition from. Uh, What it was. I haven't done much research on the shiny hunting specifics for it yet, though. Schleck suddenly took off running to the rainstorm. Tried to stop him, lest he get wet, but then I saw those mass outbreaks appearing all over. Perhaps it was the massive mass outbreak that Munchlex was curious about. Man! If that's the case, Munchlex might be able to help us investigate this phenomenon. I'll also work with you. As I'm concerned about bunch lengths. We can begin our investigation as soon as you're prepared. Are you ready to go now? Yes. Excellent. Off the hype camps with us. So these mass massive out uh, massive mass outbreaks actually do have uh increased shiny chance. But they are less increased than the ones we've been having so far the, with the mass outbreaks. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet, nor has much like reacted to anything. Shall we just wait for a while to see whether something happens? Oh yeah, the rainstorm. It's raining, and it looks like it's going to get worse. Come on! Are you worried about the rainstorm, Munchlax? Still don't know what's causing these mysterious mass... Massive mass outbreaks. Well, the rainstorm is. Where should we look? Perhaps that fancy map of yours can show us something. Munch! What a timing. These are all locations that there is now a... 
a outbreak. Uh, <laughs> Massive mass outbreak is a phenomenon in which many mass outbreaks occur at once. Mass outbreak locations are marked by the question mark icon on the map. And you don't know what Pokemon can be found there until you go see. These rare outbreaks will uh, dissipate in time, so you'll need to hurry to investigate them. Defeat or catch the Pokemon as mass outbreak before it dispatches to finish investigating the peculiar location. Sometimes additional Pokemon may appear immediately after you complete your investigation. Seems you have some idea where to look for these outbreaks now. Why not check out a few, seeing at least three all to give us some idea what's going on? Uh, let's just go this way first. Around here, right? These are Cascoon. Kind of weak. Uh, if I can get them to aggro all at once, and I can just destroy them. Gascoons are aggressive Pokemon, anyways. One, two. Go on, you two. Is this a few at the same time, at least? No, just one. Damn it! Why is it so hard for me to, like, aggro multiples at the same time? I haven't had a, like, multi-battle in a long-ass time. They always just end up running away. It's not like I want cascoons, but <laughs> technically, my best bet is to actually just capture them. Are you also part of the? Come on, cascoon. Nope. Uh, this is the dodge button. Again, just one. Yeri yeri desu. Pretty sure Cascoons usually don't spawn over here, though. I'm also pretty sure that I don't want to just waste all my Pokeballs on these guys the entire time. Um. Oh, oops. These hadn't actually installed me yet. I'll still keep pressing the wrong buttons like it's nobody's bloody damn business. Oh. 
Oops. The reported Pokemon seem to be gone. Here. And Luxio, Luxorain. Come on. I actually got spotted. Uh oh. These at least come at me all at the same time. Good for me. 63. Somewhat stronger. Doesn't have any effect on uh, Drago. Gonna keep on spamming strong attacks. Would have been nice if an alpha shiny had spawned for me. I just gotta keep on going. Should have just done a different one, honestly. When I did the Cascoon one. Thunder Wave. Crunch. Ooh, 99. A new horde has formed. Oh, shit. Go, Claw. Oh, wow. Not enough. Not enough. I think I'll swap Drago out for a bit. Let's see who, we, who my best bet would be in here. I did bring Arceus, so... Let's just throw Arceus in. Crunch. Thunder. Hey, don't kill my Arceus. Stinkies. I actually don't know what Arceus' things are to do. 
Drunk type should save some time. Going into judgment. I'll charge. Actually looking at me menacingly menacing menacingly menacingly English is so hard guys What are you talking about? You don't know where I am. <laughs> Stinky. Ooh. Blacko is actually level 99. Apparently, I did not pay enough attention. Everyone went to level up. Is level 99 the max? No, level 100 is max. Okay. I should know this. Every Pokemon game has 100 at max. Reported Pokemon seem to be gone. Okay, let's go to the location where Eevee usually is. This area. Ooh. Nice Alpha Drifloon. I have a shiny El a shiny Drifloon. That isn't wait. Ah, did not know Mount Junior spawned here. Rainstorm seems to be going in for a bit longer. Shovels. Just got aggroed. Pop ya. Sure, Yordi. You go attack a Gastrodome with Aquatil. Seems like a great idea. Rude. Gastrodome uses uh, uh, Aquatil. Uh, uh, spatial run does not 100% uh, hit chance. Hydro pump. Not very effective. Okay, let's take a seat.
I should really start bringing bowls and such. Serious? Go, Yoga! Iron Tail, not very effective. Huh. I don't know what abilities I need to see still. Uh, well, other than Steel, but I mean, like, strong style, weak style. Oh, yeah. Should have seen that coming. The old guy's getting wrecked. <sighs> Not brought the most powerful Pokemon for this along today. Well, I did. I bring it. I brought. Uh, I brought Garchomp, which is my strongest Pokemon currently. Let me just throw a regular extra sensory in there. I, I think if we head back to town in a bit, I'm gonna strengthen all my Pokemon. Okay, um... Where are they? Where are the sussy bakas? Oh. They actually attacked me? What the fuck? Is that it? Ooh, very small specimen caught. Ooh, just on time. Okay. Now I can take a rest. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I need to check something as well, by the way. On the starters. Numbers caught. Oh, we've gone pretty far. So far on these guys. Numbers you've evolved. Wait, are these... I think I'm just gonna evolve them. Because these guys are already maxed out. At least they would be usable then. At least use these guys. Flamethrower, overheat. Let me see what the moves were that I needed on you guys. Because I'm most likely gonna use them anyways. Aquatil, Hydro Pump, and Ceaseless Edge. Strong style and agile style, 40 each. Infernal Parade, Flamethrower, Overheat, and Strong Style and Agile Style. Okay. Change moves. Aquatail, Hydro Pump, 
ceaseless edge over water poles. Typhlosion needed flamethrower overheat and infernal parade over flame wheel. And I think I'm actually gonna put roll out over swift. Okay. Mm, let me have a look at you guys. Well, okay. Um, yeah, I brought these things specifically for... Uh, the Luxio encounters. I do have quite a lot of these, which is good for when we... Like, go do these things. So I'm just gonna bring all these apricorns, spoiled ones. Uh, secondly, where got so much of this? Okay, give me these for a bit. Two, three. I got so much of these things. Oh. I like that the legendaries at least have like three of their stats to level three already. Six. <laughs> Six stats. Up those by three. Six times three is... Eighteen. And the last one is only one level, thankfully. These, these guys will not be as atrocious as they were before. Okay. I do feel like this goes a little bit slow, though, which annoys me. But I actually wasn't planning on spamming this anyways. The only one that I'd need to do this on still would be Garatina. And then the big boys are maxed out. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three.
three. Counting out loud. Okay. One. Do gotta work a little bit harder to save up on these a bit again. That is, if I'm ever gonna try and shiny hunt. And get some very strong Pokemon in this game. Okay. Item storage. back here. At least they should be able to hold their own now a little bit. My. Thank you for investigating the Obsidian Fieldlands. Thumblestone, Iron Chunk, Smoke Balls. Did you learn anything about these mass mass outbreaks? They come in rainstorms. Could that mean? Do Pokemon gather when there's especially heavy rain? I wonder whether Munchlax was reacting to the rainstorm or to the massive mass outbreaks itself. We just have to do investigate. Uh, we'll just have to investigate further. But how best to do it? We've had a good look around the Obsidian Field lens, but it only raised more questions. That frown doesn't suit you at all. A uh, mistress Calaba. Well, you see. Mass outbreaks that occur during rainstorms. Never heard of such a thing. But of course, life is full of surprises. After all, it's not often that Pokémon from beyond our world appear at the Temple of Sinnoh either. Perhaps these Pokémon are reacting to the arrival of the mighty Palkia. Why don't we head back to Jubilee Village? Erzu's shop may be a good place to visit. That girl's place is awfully popular, after all. And where pe people gather information bound. Of course, the hairdressers. Good thinking. If anyone there has seen one of these mass mass outbreaks, they might be willing to share details with us. So then, I'll wait for you at the hairdressers. Okay, don't... Yeah, I was about to say, don't teleport me out of here, because I still got a place to go to. In the tunnels, in the tunnels. You already got to go to the tunnel. It's not often that I actually go like, hoo hoo. But, uh, free money. Clover challenged you to a battle. A bam of snow. Oh, wait. Isn't Garchomp a bad choice to fight a bam of snow with? Ah, who cares? That's the worst that can happen. My last necessary strong attack. Lizzie! I. I don't get it. How did I lose? Yordi is fine. Just fine. Angry face. Four nuggets. Where am I again? Hey, Pikachu. Just to be sure and see if the other sister is not here. That does not seem to be the case. Good.
How are you, Lizzie? Jesus, going over to Legends Arceus after playing Elden Ring is such a... different cookie. Okay, so there's supposed to be a big Pokemon here that's being an... Ooh. Hey, Onyx. Hey, Happini. Do I still need to do anything with Happini? Happy. I need to catch them without them spotting me once. It's lame. Oh. Couldn't even attack it yet. Good, you made it. Those glowing red eyes, it's one of those alpha things, right? Raged about so much, I'm afraid it might bring the whole tunnel down. It's really dangerous. It's just an Onyx. Yay, we got the last Hapini caught with... Without being spotted. <laughs> uh, Lizzie, what are you up to today? Bulldoze it. Wow, it survived. Surprise, motherfucker! Having breakfast, doing laundry. Breakfast and laundry. You're as good as they say. That Alpha Onyx has calmed right down. Hmm, I half expected to get right back to trashing about. Me too. Right? Maybe, just maybe, you weren't raging at all, but actually just trying to dig a tunnel. If that's the case, we may as well dig together. Oh! And settled then. From now on, we're a team. Guess you could say the Onyx and I are on it. Now I've got a partner that's more the more than dependable, and it's all thanks to you. It's not much, but please take this grid stone as a token of my appreciation. And I think I'm gonna mail some yummy buttery potatoes later. Mail? There's some folk who are trying to and who are saying they to make statues of Pokemon if they find some quality stone. And Leon of the plural clan said we might even find coal here. Make. Okay. That sounds more, uh, more like it. I was like, uh, nanny, male, nanny. Do you know, Lizzie? Oh, do you know? 
the lava perfect. Return to the village, apparently. Running my way downtown. Oh, Yordi, Mr. Scalaba is waiting for you. Come on in. With some yummy white rice. Potatoes and white rice? Heard all about those massive mass outbreaks. I bet they they're some sort of Pokemon festival. It's like what I heard from a customer who came here from Johto. Apparently on nights with a full moon, Clefairy get together and dance. Basically a gathering of Pokemon that only happens when certain conditions are met. Sounds pretty similar to the massive mass outbreaks, don't you think? Okay. So massive mass outbreaks could be a festival for Pokemon to enjoy in the rainstorms. You really think so? Seems to me you're still biting your tongue, I, I resume. Have you heard anything else? Oh, I did hear something weird from a Diamond Clan friend of mine. What was it? They said they saw a mass outbreak of Ulfas in the Crimson Mirelands. Seriously, do Ulfas even gather in groups? My friend must have made a mistake, right? All of us grouping together. If this is part of the mass of mass outbreaks, it sounds dangerous. Fun. Even the Lady of the Ridge would be no match for a mass outbreak of Althas. It's uh, natural to worry about the unknown. So Iordi is investigating this for us, no? To put our concerns to rest. You're right, it seems our next step is the Crimson Mirelands. Yuri, yuri does he. Are you ready to head to the Crimson Mirelands with me? Yep. Excellent, then let's be off. For research. Would be fun if we uh, find a uh, shiny during all of this. Seems a massive mass outbreak has sprung up here in the Crimson Mirelands too. Let's try to determine if this phenomenon occurs here. As it does in the Obsidian Field Lens. Hey ho, little people, no need to fret, Melly has arrived. Oh, not you, Melly. will you piss off? What do you want? I heard rumors that you've been investigating massive mass outbreaks or some such, but I, Melly, have already solved the mystery. All that remains is to gather evidence. Really? Not bad, Melly. Reason these Pokemon have been mysteriously gathering in the rainstorms is is seeing you hate a character so much because to give praise to the great Melly naturally how can I not hate this motherfucker like he is so obnoxious don't look so sorry you two I realize it's a difficult truth to accept right away, but the awe I inspire as both sun and shadow to Adamon is clearly apparent to Pokemon. Yeah, no. No, just leave. And as thanks, your adorable effort in proving my theory true, I'll give you this generous reward. Did he just give me? Go take them. They're Agua Berries, quite a rarity here in his who you know. 20 agua berries. As for why these Pokemon gather during rainstorms, well, that's surely to represent how I'm simply overflowing with wonderful qualities. And with that nugget of wisdom, I shall be off. He was very shy and withdrawn as a child until one day when he announced he was going to work hard to help Adamon. I was happy to see him grow more optimistic, but I fear he may have taken that to the extremes. But Agua Berries, where could he have found them? Munch. 
Oh, Chillax, did you just eat some of the Agloff berries? Five of the Agloff berries. Munch, munch! <laughs> More information has been unlocked. What's this? It looks like your fancy map is responding to Munchlax again. Ooh. Ooh, look at the Teddy Ursa one. Oh, wait, no, that's just the Egg Wolf Berry one. But we do have, um, I think I'm gonna go grab... The one up top. And the one at the bottom with Tomb Thingy, whatever his name was. Now the map shows not only Outbreak locations, but the Pokemon there as well. Does this mean, Munchlax? Come on! While massive mass outbreaks are ongoing, you can give Aqua Berries to Mice Munchlax to find out what Pokemon are appearing at each mass outbreak location. Pokemon icons with a sparkle mark the locations of special mass outbreaks, while those with berries indicate mass outbreaks where you may be able to receive aqua berries. Be sure to make the most of these to help out with your investigation into mass outbreaks. So I ran, I kind of went to the right of the map yesterday, and there was a level twenty was level twenty Pokemon's, and I ran lol. <laughs> She's like, what exactly is it you're trying to get us to understand? Whatever this all means, please investigate three mass outbreak locations in the Crimson Marlins. We can compare these outbreaks to the ones we found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Um, let's go to the Diamond Settlement first. After... The tiny little duders there. God damn it, it's been a while since I played. I can't even read the map correctly anymore. Screw you, Parasis. And Conavans. Uh, Anamon, still a little bit further. Zombies. Jet bombs. Mushroom cakes. Oh. Um. Oh. What do I need to do with you guys again? Bombs lead. Without being spotted, giving it food. Okay. Do I even have any bad food with me? No. That one flint, sad face. Get in the bloody ball. <sighs> New horde has formed, pseudo woodos.
Okay, Pokemon report is gone, sad, but better something than nothing. The area, because there was a huge Snorlax. You should try and catch that Snorlax once your um, rank is a little bit higher. He's not that rough or hard to catch, I should say. Oh, did I not bring any smoke bombs? Oh yeah, I do have some. These fuckers. Just got hit by a fucking flamethrower. really good at these massive mass outbreaks honestly wonder if we should bring like uh, stealth potions <laughs> oh what the hell is that oh shiny tangela mind if I do. It's just one uh, shiny uh, tangle that appeared out of nowhere. Where am I? This way. In the middle of the dirt. Am I getting spotted by Krokong? Nope. Oh, there are dead here, so... Piss off, skunk tank or skunky. Just run. 
You should try and, like, complete as much of your uh, Pokedex as you can early on. Because that will save you time later on. <sighs> Go in it. <laughs> How's this? Rainstorm seems to have ended. Time to report my findings to my... My, oh, mine. Uh, I'd like to do some shopping. Buy a gazillion of these. Not that much. Because I don't want to grind. Again. Where is she? My, 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 my. Irina! Irida. Wait, Irida? Oh. Irida Bay! <laughs> it does here to help us. It happened twice, well, it happened twice, or so they say. A massive mass outbreak seems likely to occur in the Cobalt Coastlands and other areas as well, so I've been discussing the issue with Irida. Why don't we demonstrate to her what has been keeping us so busy? We can. Turn our investigation to the Cobalt Coastlands next. Munch! Ah yes, Munchlax, I know what's been keeping you busy is eating. Don't worry, you'll get your berries. I still wonder, what lies behind Munchlax's strange reaction to eating eggweb berries? How does he know which Pokemon are gathering where during a massive mass outbreak? He's got some... got... He's got superpowers, perhaps. Hopefully our investigation will shed some light on this mystery. Well, let me offer you a hand. I've learned some things about mass mass outbreaks myself. I knew the leader of the Pearl Clan could help us. Mysterious goings on in vast history piqued my interest after all. And on top of that, we're friends. I'll always come if you ask for help. Friends. We'd seen each other around before. But after talking more at the Harmony Festival, we found we agreed on a lot of things. Such as how exactly we think Adaman is doing as a leader. We decided we'd help each other out, despite being from different clans. Anyways, that's how I got involved with the investigation in the Coastlands. Noise. And I heard from Aisken and Lina that they both seen something that was like a mess. Outbreak. But stranger! What are your thoughts on these massive mass outbreaks, Irida? Well, I wonder what about them caused Pokemon to flock together this way. Perhaps there's been some shift in space because of my Tepokia's appearance. I'd certainly be glad to have more Pokemon around. It would help Yusui flourish. But it's too early to conclude it's for the best. Hordes of strong Pokemon could be dangerous. I'll be sure to warn Lina to be careful too. I'll head to Jubilee Village once I wrap up a few things here. We can meet at the front gate when the time's to s when it's time to set out on our investigation. Next investigation. Professor! Call a shiny Tangela, though. That's nice. Return to the village. Return to the village, people. The village people! Hmm. 
my shiny Rowlet and Pikachu. What the fuck is this Pichu doing in here? Oh, you were an alpha. That's why I kept you. These are all just random Pokemans. <laughs> Cobalt Coastlands, let's go. Hi, hi. I'm born ready. What a fine surprise meeting you two while, while out fetching supplies for our settlement. Garrick, Kelaba filled me in. You're looking into mass outbreaks that happened during rainstorm? Well, then I'll teach you, teach you what I recommend. Sticky globs. Sticky globs. Getting a Pokemon with a sticky glob will slow it right down. I bought the recipe at Craftsman Works myself by the request of From Settlement. Better get back to the Icelands. Not that it'll take much time with well-trained legs like these. Interesting, the Pearl Clan is recommending the Galaxy Team Sticky Globs. Right then, let's set off to the beachside camp. My PC is deciding to make a lot of noise again today. Seems we arrived in time to catch another massive mass outbreak. Remember, Garrick's advice, perhaps those sticky globs could be big help. Now then, let's begin our research. You can let me know if you wish to give Munchlax some aqua berries as well. It will grant you a bit of insight into the Pokemon gathering in these mass outbreaks. Okay, it's good to know that I don't have to do that. Um, oh. Let's take uh, the smart path, save, use them, and then, um, dang it. And then turn it back. Around. Ow. Got a bump on my head again. Okay. Talk to my. Five aqua berries. Okay. So we have Magmar, only one special location though, which is this one. Okay, so I guess I can just go here and then here and then there. Cool, cool. Let me restart my game so I don't have to... Lose my aqua berries.
Yeah, yaddy dizzy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move. That's the wrong one. I believe I can fly. I believe I can t Ow. We'll do that. Each. Team. She. Go. Port seems to be gone. Machoke. Machoke's looking around. Shit, my champ. Alpha Machamp appeared. Now that would have been fucking dope if it was a uh, shiny. Oh, I didn't even notice Clover there in front of my ass. Oh well, free stuff, free monies. Dirty always likes free monies. Get it? How'd I lose? Easy. I was just simply stronger. With the drum of the beat. Right in the heat. Oh. 
Shiny! Ooh, that's my second shiny print plop. Oh no, that's actually my first one. I said nothing. Did I actually catch this shiny? Very good question. Can you guys stop running around? Uh-oh. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to shut these guys down. Actually, uh, get ass blasted. Come, unaware primplop. Storm is still going on. How many more are there on this path? Might as well go and try and grab them, right? I mean... It would be super dope if I could get a shiny sphere. Or a shiny alpha sphere. You little stinkies run away too much. Or roll away too much, I should say. go in fairly easy. The answer is nada. They don't. Celio. as well for 100% on them anyways. So we're just gonna kick some butt. Chance of random items. Oh, false swipe. It's the wrong attack. Critical hit.
Ooh. All rain uses rest. F. Ah, drowsy. Now if I do a strong attack, it dies! Oh, it didn't, apparently. Again! Yeah, and now it died. Defeated three. This one is still standing, though. Where's the other Celio? Oh, there's one. Pokemon seem to be gone. Okay, what's over here? Oh yeah, Magby. Like we are also hella aggressive. Has form, seems to be forming. But you guys are aggressive as fuck. Okay, back and put my potatoes on the stove. Noise. Potatas, potatas. One of them saw me. Potato potatoes. You bastards! There. I can take all of you at the same time. Or at least my guard chop can. Chomp. Not chop. Garchomp. Did I just fall into the water? Am I gonna drown? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Did not know I could fall into the water and drown. Ooh, the burn is kinda annoying for Chomp. You know what? 
done a good job, Garchulm. It's time for Palkia, our water use mover, to smash these gas to bits. Aqua deal. Strong style. Splash. Yeah, Daybreak update. The update that came out uh, during Pokemon Bay. Zillar. Added uh, like about 10 new side quests and a new mechanic to the game. So I was like, I fam, I'll go do that. Wants to do it at some point anyways. So why the flying fuck not? Since the rainstorm has been going on for a while, I just kept going in this area. How are you doing today, Zillar? Rainstorm is about to clear up. Oh no! Tired. How come, dude? Ooh, is that an Alpha Magmar? That is actually kind of dope. Nailed it. Nope. Since, um... Uh, it's not that easy to get your hands on the Alpha Magmar. Or should I say Alpha Magmortar? Unlike Electivire, Riperior. Dunno, just tired. Well, that's fine, dude. You can be just tired. I am often just tired as well. You can have days like that. Just chillax. Take a CC. Something like that. Whatever Bobo would say. Fanta. You know what? Never mind. Um, I'll just kill him. Kill him all. Strong style hydro pump. No, Pokey, I got poisoned. How dare they? Fire Punchy. Well, I got burned and poisoned. Thankfully, you can't get both on the same time. Spatial rent! Anything else? 
Aw, oh, rainstorm has ended. Now I am sad. I actually couldn't care less. But we did... What did we get again? Oh yeah, we got another shiny. We got a... Puplio shiny. It wasn't an alpha, so... It's not that great. I've got even more information from the Survey Corps to offer my... Professor Levitin and I have been researching these massive mass outbreaks too. Captain Selene orders. Be grateful to hear about anything you've discovered. Be happy to share. I just have one little request first. You already battled me! Uh, okay, fine. I need to train more in order to become an even greater member of the Survey Corps. I'll be waiting for you at Ginkgo Landing. I'm taking this seriously, so I hope you do too. Rage against the machine never specified what type of machines they were furious with, but I reckon it was probably a printer. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where is the ginkgo landing anyways? Oh, it's right there. Let me heal my Pokemon first before I throw all my legendaries at you. You're not playing Pokemans, Lizzie? Why are you not playing the Pokemans? The Pokemans is great. It's fantastic. It's super. It's amazing. You heard it. Amazing. Wait, did I already heal? Okay, good. We're starting. Ooh, my Draco is now actually max level. Nice. I caught a Kadabra, shoo. No, you did not, Lizzie. <laughs> nice, Lizzie, that you caught a Kadabra. But I still have more Survey Corps experience. I need to prove that you can depend on me. Can I, though, Akira? Oh, no. Can I, though? Yeah, Akira. Can I really... Oh, did she just send out a Clefairy against my Draco? She is getting smarter! Though it's only a level 60 Clefairy. And for fuck's sake, it's a Clefairy. It's not even kind of fable. Just use Bulldoze. Once. And twice. Print plop. Rude. Also, why is she running around with freaking... second stage Pokemon when she could have already had third stage Pokemon. Is he even still Pikachu? Play her off. Oof. That hurts. Not. Suck it, Pikachu. What are your last two Pokemon? Star Raptor. At least that's a fully evolved Pokemon. Grave Bird. That didn't do you any good. And it survived with an inch of its life. It's the mine! Hypnosis, that's rude. You know what? Purely because you used hypnosis on me, and I know you're fiery, a fairy, I'm just gonna send something super disgusting at you that's gonna destroy you. 
I was fighting an invisible invisible ponytail the game's glitches game glitches out I don't know I've never had that Strong style infernal parade. Goodbye, Mr. Mime. What an incredible strength. I'm proud to call you my protege. Uh huh. Who's the kid not this show? Who's the kid not this? Uh, Timmy. You're incredible, Yordi. I want to become strong like you. If I could become a worthy opponent, then I know I could do the Survey Corpse proud. I threw it at the orange thing rock and it's like fighting music and I'm out. <laughs> Wait, what? Weird. Pikachu, you understand how I feel? If we can understand each other, that means Pikachu and I really can get stronger. I think we'll start by sharing a nice big plate of potato mochi. That's spirit. Protege. Protege. Uh, successor. Sort of. Yeah. I think that's uh, a successor that isn't... Or don't insult words you don't know what it means. I know what protege means. What the hell? I just don't know how to explain it. I'll explain what the professor and I discussed. Go fetch a banana, but I don't like banana, so I'm not gonna. We think Pokemon are gathering around lingering traces of energy left behind by the space uh, by the space-time rift. But we need to investigate more to learn how these energy traces relate to the rainstorms. I don't understand a word you're saying, but it sounds like you know what you're talking about. Promise I'll become a worthy opponent to you, Jordy. One you can depend on when you want to grow stronger yourself. I'll see you later, Mai. Wow. Sillaher, what did I do wrong? I like the Survey Corps. It's good to see young people so passionate about their cause. Alright, next we visit Cornet Highlands. Or at least that's would be the plan, but I've yet to hear a single sighting of massive mass outbreaks in the Highlands. If and when we do hear of any sightings there, let's meet up at the Highlands camp. Louis. What the hell? The hell? Su Did I just say sushi? Oh my god. Okay, fine. You can call me Louie. Because apparently I suck. You want to be the king of all the jungle, don't you? No. I don't want to be king of a jungle. Why would I want to be king of a jungle? Because jungles have spiders, and I don't like spiders. And other insects. I will never go to the jungle. You're the king, so you can just banish them. Do you think spiders ever listen to what the fuck you want? Ah, hell no. The spider's gonna be like, bitch, I bite you once, you dead.
There's a new request. Lizzie gets it. Sure she does. Just the thought of it makes my body shiver. And I've already been cold all day. Get a man-child to show you the secrets of Red Flower. Sounds like important to discuss with you. I heard an odd rumor. I believe it may be the key to unlocking the mystery behind the massive mass outbreaks. You must first acquire ten mushroom cakes. Then bring them to the secret hollow in the Alabaster Icelands. Call this my tricky treat strategy. Okay. Seems like a plan. Be waiting for you at the Alabaster Icelands in the secret hollow. The tricky treat. So, Zillar, do you happen to get drunk <laughs> when you're tired? <sighs> nope. Okay, I was just wondering. Because first you yell at me because apparently I don't know what a protege, protege... I just don't know how to pronounce it. It's a very hard word to pronounce for me. Um... But after that, you start going all in about me being wanting to be king of the jungle. I don't really consume alcohol anymore. I know I'm not saying that you consumed alcohol. I'm just saying, that are you drunk? Because you don't, you can get drunk without consuming. Yes, because or. <sighs> okay, I get it. I get it, and I hate it. Apparently, I'm an orang utang. Did you bring me 10 mushroom cakes? <laughs> well done. On mushroom cakes and some quality ones at that. Now we're just. Getting started, leave the rest to me. You can return to Jubilee Village. I'll share how successful my strategy was when I'm finished. Wait, really? But I don't want to go back to Jubilee. Fine. Uh, Leon? Who is that again? Oh, you. I had a visit from Mali. Came all that way just to boast about giving you some aqua bearings. He said you lit up with so much joy that your smile nearly split your face. Can't imagine that was the case. I'm sure it was a confused grimace. Or a smile you merely forced yourself to give out, <laughs> out of pity. But I still can't let myself be outdone by him. So I've been looking for you all over history. To give you this, my very own reward to you. It is, naturally, far superior to anything Melly can offer. What is it? 30 Aguaf Berries instead of 20. Oh, and I did see one of those massive mass outbreaks on my way here to find you. I wonder if they might be caused by the geology of the place where they occur. Perhaps there's some mystery kind of stone in the ground which draws Pokemon near. Oh, and I had a message uh, for you from Mai. She would like you to meet you in Jubilife Village. Back in Jubilife? She's been waiting there for you. Though I suppose it's more accurate to say that she's been chatting away with Sugumi from the Security Corps about Bidoof. As for me, I think I may visit the Hot Springs since I've come all this way. Do be careful of any massive mass outbreaks as you head back. Strong Pokemon might appear. The tricky treat strategy. 
enough about being bad to Yordi. Now back to trying to be nice to Yordi. How is Yordi doing? <laughs> uh, Yordi is just cold, honestly. And a little bit uh, unmotivated today. But I've already done a lot today out of my comfort zone, so... My my, what's on your mind? Your tricky treat strategy? What in the world are you talking about? Mushroom cakes and strategies? Munch! Think of it, Irda also came to me with an odd request. She asked me for hearty green, so I gathered some for her. Could there be some Pokemon taking the guise of people to stir up mischief? Yes. Definitely could be a case. And if this is why I called you here, mind. I meant to tell you that a massive outbreak has been reported in the Coordinate Highlands. Next step in our research is to investigate Coordinate Highlands. Let's see what we can find. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I should probably go and cook some pasta in a bit, and then eat dinner. And then let's continue our investigation into these outbreaks here in the Coronet Highlands. Yordi! Am I? Who brings you here? I hurried here because of a vision my clairvoyance showed me. Some poor soul was running for their life from a bunch of alphas. I just barely saved them. As It is as I feared then. These massive mass outbreaks really are growing out of hand. Yordi, we must endeavor to find the truth behind why they keep happening. Big packs of Pokemon might not be much trouble if you got a trusty partner, but if you don't, ee -ee, I'm scared just thinking about it. You did well to save that person, Sabi. You're... You're as fine a protector as any lord or lady Pokemon. Thanks, Mai. My clairvoyance shows me anyone else in trouble. I'll do my best to save them, too. Just be careful while you're out there, okay? She's right. I know how strong you are, but we should move with caution here. Nah, fuck that shit. Caution? What the fuck is that? Uh, okay. So... Oh, not yet. We just saved. We're gonna give our Munchlex Boyo the Agua Berries. Obviously, I'm not wasting them on anything or anyone else. Okay, let's see if there are any fun ones. Gibble. That's a fun one with a star. And then we have a Shinx one here. That one is not bad to actually test out. The Shinx one. Oh, there's another Shinx one here. Okay, I think we're going first for the Gibble. See what's behind all of those. Because so we want the Alpha version. And hopefully get a shiny one. Um, restart so that I get my Aqua Berries back. Aguav, aguav, aguagua, agua. Ow. Yeah, you should not do that, Jordi. Wait, isn't it Sushi's birthday today? It's the 15th. Should probably ask him. Lizzie's is the 22nd this month. Okay. This one. I can actually warp there. It's way faster than flying. Okay. Hoo hoo! Alpha Gibble. Uh, 
this is not going as I intended. Will you? Catch the stupid alpha gibble. Catch it! Already have an alpha Garchomp though, but still try and catch it. It's fun. Full swipe! Or uses Twister. Dragon Claw! Super effective. False Swipe. Kill the small guy. I'll throw stuff at this other gibble here. Nice. God damn it! I actually died. That is fucking F. That is super cringe. Holy shit, I lost a lot of stuff. That is super bad. God damn it, I can't believe that I have to kill all of these guys. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, no, there was... Oh! Gable, Gabite, Gabite. about no dragon claw Go in, yeah, blasphemic asshole. Thanks. Okay, now we're going back here so that I can easily grab. Go after the Shinxies. Those are Lucio. They usually spawn there. Nope. 
you serious? No, you bastard. Jinder, you. No new horns, sad face. Now, if only I remember exactly which one the other Shinx patch was. I think it was this one or something. We'll see. We'll just fly down from the top. Bronzong. Ooh, Yenmas. Reveler. Yeah, this is the Shinx one. No grass nearby, which is kind of ass. Damn it, Shinxies! It's murder time! Murder time! Sad. Oh, um... I think I just lost like about a hundred fucking balls sucks in my lost satchel. Someone find my lost satchel! Not that I have picked up anyone's satchels in the meantime. I'm curious about what else I still need to do on... Where is he? Garchomp. Here he is. Times you've stunned it with an item. Number of forms obtained. Number you defeated with fairy-type moves. Number defeated, number of alpha specimen caught, already caught two. 
number comp in total. Okay, let's move. You know what, I'll just go look around a little bit more. Just a tiny titsy little bit more. A bunch of hunters. A bunch of hunters. Stay in the ball. Oh, hell no, you don't! Aw, oh, rainstorm ended. Sad. Wait. <laughs> Asshole! Shadow Claw! Okay. Ooh, there's another side quest here. Uh, she'll want me to come back to Jubilee Village anyways, so we're gonna do that side quest first. There you two are. Hope your investigation is going alright. We're doing great. Folks in our clan and the Pearl Clan are all helping investigate these massive mass outbreaks, or whatever you call them. And I thought what kind of leader would sit back and do nothing while you're all working? So I figured I'd grab whatever supplies I could find that might come in handy for him. Here, curious for those sticky glob things. Holy shit, that's a lot. How leader-like of you, Adamon. Don't make fun of me, Mai. I'm trying to help. You misunderstand me, Adamon. As the sister who helped raise you, I am truly proud to see how far you've come. Munch munch! Listen, Yordi, I've been wondering. You think these massive mass outbreaks could be some sort of trial from Mighty Dialga or Mighty Palkia? Mm, I mean, maybe. Probably more Ark Ar Ar Arcus. Arcus. It's possible. It kind of feels like it, right? So someone's telling us, if you got the guts to face a real test with your partners, take on these Pokemon. Otherwise, stand back. Quite like you'd see that way, Adamon. Yeah, well, I'd love to stay and talk, but I've got an appointment to keep with that Benny fellow. Been trying to get him to teach me his tricks. I mean, his ninja skills. And to know his recipes and his ninja tricks. Once I do, I'll give you a proper demonstration. But in the meantime, stay safe as you investigate. The heck is that for, uh... Hand sign. My my, it would seem having a trusted partner cause this is one to view these outbreaks in rather different light. Now then, the Alabaster Idol and still wait. One more step, a steep hurdle for us to overcome. Munch! You said it. it. Appears Munchlax is eager to continue as well. We'll wait you at Jubilife's front gate as usual. Join us when you are ready to for another one. Another one! Okay, now let's go do this side quest. New request. We can't just bail on the requests after all. That glint in your eyes. I bet my balloons... I bet my balloons you're quite capable, young man. Do you think you could show me your balloon-busting technique? 
You'll just need to bust as many of my adorable loons as possible while riding a Pokemon. It's captivating, really. If you manage to burst, say, 40, well, that'll be an impressive start. I hate these balloon races. They really are not my type of tea. They're 60. You've got one minute and 50 seconds. Because you need to, like, uh, move between different Pokemons the entire time, and I'm just not good at that. Oh wow, this is a... Damn it, crazy one. Shit, really? Oh, That's what I'm talking about. This is just not my thing. I haven't played in a while either, so this is not really helping. Jump button. Fucking hell. I hate this game. Damn. If only I could have grabbed those aerial ones normally. Two Ultra Balls. How nice of you, fucking old, annoying piece of garbage. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Jump with Y, Yordi. Dash with B. It's already t one more than before. Ah, uh, that's... Garp. Okay, now nah, this is already better than before as well, because I couldn't pop these before. Okay, come on! That's good. Are you shitting me? Oh, come on, Braveria, you fucking cocksucker. Seriously, why are you so hard to control? Forty, good enough. Or two. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Welcome back, you burst forty three balloons. You're so close to bursting them all. Little reward should keep no. No, it does not keep me motivated whatsoever. You can suck my hairy balls. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm out. Goodbye. Sayonara. Auf Wiedersehen. Return to the village. Uh, let's see. We already placed the other... Yeah, we don't need to place new ones anywhere else. <sighs> Getting way too many random items from everyone. Oh. Got 33 rare candies, I didn't even notice that. Okay. Our last item of research is to look into the massive mass outbreaks in the Elbester Icelands. Let's finish this together. You have mail. Oh, how nice. If you're ready, shall we embark on our investigation? Heck yeah, fam. Okay, then let's go to Snow Cap. Snow Cap. Of course it's a snowstorm here instead of a fucking uh, cold here seems to cut right through you. What are you two doing here? I came to advise you that the massive mass outbreaks seen here in the Elbester Iceland seem slightly different than the others. The outbreaks happen during rainstorms in the other areas, but here they seem tied to the blizzards. Blizzards, you say? Could just be the cold environment, of course. But I have to wonder if there's more to it. Well, we'd better get to it. I think we should look into more outbreak locations than usual this time. Better get started. Increasing the scope of our investigation is a lot to ask at this point. Even And even for someone with your skill, Yordi, it will take a long time to check so many areas by yourself. It's a good thing I'm here to help you out then, isn't it? I suppose even Leon can, might be of some use. Appreciate the help. This will be your first time investigating these outbreaks, won't it, you two? Try not to overstrain yourself. Certainly. So, to sum up, Jordi will focus on just three areas, as he's been doing to now. Meanwhile, Sligu and I will handle the remaining areas. <clears throat> There's something wrong with your math there, little man. You've left me out of the equation. Y'all dirty. Yeah, it's because, uh, fucking snowstorm. You can do basic math, can you? Hmm. I know how to subtract you from this assignment, for starters. I will finish all the remaining areas on my own. You need to factor in. I can tell, can't tell if they hate each other or if they're both enjoying this. Either way, I imagine they never would have crossed paths if it hadn't been for you. For now, let's focus on investigating the outbreaks here in the Icelands. Where? Is oh there she is. Oh, save my yeah. We want to see what's in this area. Ooh, I don't feel like going after the Oshawa though. 
especially because I already got a shiny version of his. Vulpix might be dope. A uh, massive one and massive outbreak on Zordua. It's always nice. And we'll go for the Bidoof. Because these are technically not even for Alpha or Shiny chance increase. Well, there's no one with Shiny increase, just more chance on Alpha and these stars. Okay. Got a lot of Aqua berries, but I don't feel like giving them away. <laughs> they mine. They are all mine, I tell ya. Okay, let's first go after the Zorga. Well, that's not gonna go the way I want to. Let's punch them! The dinguses. Well, brought up. It is slowly becoming night, though. That might actually be a good idea to capture them. Just Ultra Balls. Ooh, Drago got Frostbitten. We'll see. If they go in easily and quietly, we'll capture them, otherwise we'll kill them. Okay, that's one. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they go in pretty quietly. It's good. Sort of, I use bitter malice. Yay, Lizzie! Potato! Lizzie's potato! Wait, our potatoes are almost done. I mean, ah! Ooh! Alpha! I still don't have that alpha, and I really want that alpha. Really badly. It's not a shiny, but I really badly want this alpha. <laughs> nice. Yes, mistress. I'm a per pervert. At least now I don't have to hunt this alpha anymore. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, that was a joke. Bad joke, I guess. <clears throat> Just as much as I dared to, that as you dare to ins call, insult me, Zillar, and call me an orang utang. Just as much as you insult me. Wait, where's the last uh, stinky? I'm pressing the wrong buttons again. Yeah, but that's me, not Lizzie. 
So, Lizzie insults me all the time. I can make jokes. Lizzie can make jokes. I can make jokes. We can all make jokes. And we don't bitch about the jokes. No, I did not call Lizzie a bitch just now, even though I said bitch. That is not what I meant. I can see everything coming from a mile right now. And I'm like, no, I don't want to deal with that. Nine tails. Anything else? Okay. Smash. Destroy. <laughs> Tired for this. Loop. Nine tails be dead. Report seems to be gone. No new report spawning. Okay. It's this one. Come here, you stinky bee -doofs. No! Don't run away. At least this one is done now. So you finished checking the three areas you were charged with in the Iceland's launch. Got a got a word from Melly too. Says he's about to ready to wrap it up. Liam said he and Melly worked together to investigate the last outbreak. Well then, it seems we're done here. You've worked tire tirelessly to investigate all across history. We still don't know what causes these massive mass outbreaks, and they pose a threat to anyone without strong partners at their side. Be nice if these outbreaks didn't put anyone in danger, but th things rarely work out that easily. Perhaps these outbreaks are someone's way of telling us that we better understand the Pokémon with which we share vast history. Yeah, I could get behind that idea. But for now, we'd better get going if we want to make it on time. Where to? Where to, though? Yay, more money. Money, 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 money. Are we gonna go eat potato mochi? Mochi potato, potato potato. This is the place. 
And we picked the perfect time. Nani. Oh, the sun is rising. How nice. What do you think? It's amazing! It's lovely space given to us by the almighty Palkia. And this fleeting time mighty Dialga gave us. Such a beautiful view is only possible because we have both together. So you mean so much to me. My love for it is as vast as the land itself. Tell me, Yordi, did you enjoy surveying this land once again? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Was it? I suppose it's always thrilling to have a mystery to delve into. I enjoyed it too. Much. Heard these massive mass outbreaks trigger some kind of reaction in your munchlax, my. Is he doing alright? He seems fine. Pokemon remain mysterious creatures to us. Who's to say how he does it? Just grateful to him for helping us find the outbreaks and telling us what we'll find at each. That reminds me, I've spread the word that the Uvisui should be alert of the massive mass outbreaks during rainstorms. Thanks for that, Irda. Hopefully no more poor souls will wander into one unprepared and take a beating. It's like our lives are going to keep on changing and we'll keep adapting just as fast. A never, an ever-changing Hisui. Tell me, Yordi, how do you think the future people of Hisui will live with Pokémon? A battle in gyms. In gyms? What is a gym, and why would you battle in one, Yordi? You say there are places where you can challenge a skilled battler to prove your metal. Interesting. I'd like to be one of. Uh, I'd like to be the one who deems a challenger worthy. Well, whatever may come to of, well, come of the future, aren't we lucky to have been born into such a fascinating, fast-changing times? You said it. Not that change is always good, and there will always be people who don't want change at all. But hey, that's life. We'll just have to work hard and push on. And I'm glad we'll have you with us as we do, Jordy. Thanks for everything. We certainly have some curious ideas. I suppose that's no surprise coming from someone who fell from the sky. Who fell out of the sky. Yeah, finished our investigation for now, but Munchlax and I will continue to help you however we can. Much! You know, Yordi, perhaps these new outbreaks truly are just a gift from the Almighty Sinnoh. Gift meant for you, for all the good changes you brought to all of us here in Hisui. Well, that is a great way to think about it, because it makes shiny and alpha hunting ten times easier. Still gotta put up with a buttload of luck, though. XP candy, a Dawnstone. Wait, did we have Dawnstones in this game before? Yeah, it should have, because you need a Dawnstone for... Glade. Well, who the fuck cares? Welcome back, Jordy. Fine work with your surveying. Pardon the imposition, but would you follow me to the training grounds? I called you here for one specific reason. I wish to have you try your hand at a new form of Pokemon battle. I used to think that Pokemon were terrifying creatures. You've helped me see otherwise. Thanks to you, there are some in the village who now enjoy battling with Pokemon more and more. But now see Pokemon as allies. It is for that very reason that I would like you to continue to further your trailblazing. I believe that taking part in a new form of battle will deepen our understanding of Pokémon. In the midst of a tough battle, what does your partner desire? And what is your opponent thinking? 
I believe that you have the ability to sense these things, and we will do our best to learn as well. This is quite a difficult request we have of you, but I'm sure you are up to the challenge. You may ask Ingo here for more detailed explanation. I'll leave the rest to you, Ingo. Poor Ingo. Please let me know when you are ready to try your hand at these new battles. Okay, um... Let's see, we got 104, 105, I guess. What are you? Hello there, Yordi. You know, we've been, oh, we've an interesting member in the Security Corps, a secret weapon, if you will. There are bits of a Pokemon Battle Master, in fact. I think I could trouble you to face our secret weapon in battle, of course. The Security Corps secret weapon. So I heard the news. There's to be a face-off between two masters. You know, I've heard our corpse secret weapon can defeat all the Pokemon. But I can do too. Everything's set. Come with me. I can defeat Alpha Pokemon easily. The Gatekeeper is the secret weapon. Here's our ace in the hole, Res. Please, Captain Zisu, I'm just a common guardsman. However... So long as I stand in defense of this gate, I have not no intention of letting anyone defeat me. The Gatekeeper is the secret weapon! Interesting. Okay, what level po- Did he just send a Bidoof out? Did, did he just send a Bidoof at me? Okay, it's a level 62 Bidoof. That's more like it, but... Uh, bleh, it's not gonna change anything. Dragon Claw. Now just go in with a regular to finish him off. Shinx! Ooh, Shinx can learn play rough. That's rude. Just bulldoze. Okay. Not sure if I should be feeling like, am I rude for throwing in my level 100 alpha Garchomp? Decided. You broke through my defenses. I thought I could do better than that, seeing as how I, I am a guardsman. Oh, you little potato. This was to be expected. Sending out beyond the village and battling so many different Pokemon in the course of your Survey Corps work has made you very strong. You know, my first job as Guardsman was catching some Bidoof that seemed intent on infiltrating the village. Since then, I've kept many Pokémon from passing through our gates. Sometimes I'd slip up and let some in. Goodness, but people let me have it. But I also befriended some of the Pokémon, and before I knew it, we'd grown stronger together. I gained so much, and all because I was trying to make sure folks could live safely here. It's my job to keep everyone safe, isn't it? Now, there's one last thing I'd like to tell you. If you're heading outside the village again, stay safe out there, kid. And now I think I'd better get back to work. 104, Grit Rock. Any others? Yeah, other than the big boy one. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Yeah, we'll do that one in a bit. First need to do the other one. Even more challenges await us. Let me actually stash some of my junk.
Have you tried any of Ingo's Path of Solitude battles yet? Path of Solitude? Ah, Path of Solitude. A chance to master the arts of battling with a single Pokémon. Battling a tough opponent with just one Pokémon in your party feels like reaching for the stars. You really gotta know your Pokémon well so you can come up with the best strategy. On that note, I've got a request for you. The, they say the Path of Solitude is tough to beat, but it's exactly what I'd like to see you do. I'd give it a go myself, but well, those sort of battles are just way above my level. Ooh, that's number eight. And number nine. Wormadan's Path of Solitude, Abra's Path of Solitude, Blissey's Path of Solitude, still more to go. Sneasel, Rotom, Bastiodon, Roselia. Jesus Christ! I need to do it with specific Pokémon. Okay. Jesus. Bidoof, Eevee, Wormadan, Rodom, Sneasel, Bastiodon. Do have a Bastiodon, thankfully. Magikarp. Okay, I gotta test that though, what like the requirements are. Let me talk to Ingo. Commander Kamado requested that I provide new formats for battling. Compelled, enjoy the new avenues for demonstrating your skills. Can't believe that I gotta go catch a Roselia though. Purely for this. No, let's go grab this Bastiodon. Oh wait, we can select Pokemon from here. Let's try Path of Solitude. Path of Solitude will pit one of your Pokemon against Pokemon of my choosing. What will you do? Tell me more. You must battle with only one of your Pokemon. If you Pokemon emerge victorious, I will add the mark to this page. Check for records. Different Pokemon. If you can claim victory on the Path of Solitude with another 10 Pokémon, I will present you with a prize to celebrate. Okay. Uh, tenacity. You will face three members of the Galaxy Expedition team in this ser series of battle. Do you wish to proceed? Tell me more. The toughest uh, Galaxy Expedition team has to offer will challenge you to three consecutive battles. You will face three members of the Galaxy Expedition team in a series of battles. Do you wish to proceed? Sure, let's try that. Can defeat all three of us? Come then, and prove the might of your... and your Pokémon. Captain Zisu of the Security Corps reporting for duty. DUTY! Rapidash. That's an easy one to destroy. But the question is, what is the levels? And, okay, the levels are... Up there. Mm. Low bunny, also easily killable. Play rough though, that's not so great for me. I do hope we get like experience points for this. That would be nice. My Pokémon are nowhere near high enough level. Infernape. Nasty plot. Raise attack and defense, I guess. Defense stats are raised. And I'm just offensive. Strong bulldoze. Rice, potatoes, and steaks, and spicy sauce. Nom 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 nom. Nice, Lizzie. I see you're as impressive as ever. <laughs> Ooh, we do get experience points for this. Nice.
Time to fight Bane. I usually go about picking battles I can't win, but I'm doing this for Kamado's sake. I won't hold back. Bane challenges you to a battle. Miss Migius. I can beat that. Level 63. Do I take a pick for Yordi? Mm, sure, take a pick. I'll watch, I'll look at it, and get very hungry. Dazzling Kali might actually kill Draco here. Ah! Of course it doesn't, because Draco is MVP. Delayed. Drain punch. Battle decided. A training match to help each other become the best we can be. I'll take that over a messy battle any day. Experience points are pretty decent for the Pokémon that I don't use. Your strength offers many lessons. Defeating you will prove I've learned them. Hoo-ah! Commander Kamado of the Galaxy Expedition Team to battle! Okay, let's see what he throws out. Starting with Golem, I think. Ha! I'm so smart. Snorlax. High horsepower. Snorlax might actually beat my boy here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, scent. Uh, two Dragon Claws, more than enough. Let's have a look at the food. The steak and rice does look very good. I, I just don't like potatoes. <laughs> I really don't like potatoes. reminded once more just how terrifying Pokemon can be, but that is nothing compared to how dependable they are. I won again! No one can stop me! You pushed all the way through the path of tenacity. I expected no less. Grateful to, sh uh, to you f uh, for showing me what a hearten heartening precious Pokemon can be. We must spar again sometime. Spay Candy Shiny Stone? What's that? Oh, what's that? Okay, Ingo, let's try a Path of Solitude. Accept the challenge. Choose Pokemon. Uh, obviously, we're gonna start with Drago. Oh, we need to set the other ones back in the box. Arcus, Falkia, Summeroth, and Typhlosion. Yes. Very well then, let's Dragon Malfoy's Path of Solitude begin. All aboard! 
Oh, sure. Start with fucking Togekiss. My worst... Okay. Levels are pretty... I should have actually given Draco some other moves to fight with, because this is not gonna go... go. This is not gonna get me anywhere, Moonblast. I wouldn't be surprised if he instantly took me out here, either. Yeah. The flying fairy type, that is absolutely the worst opponent I could have fought right now. You have no more Pokémon left to battle. No, give me a sec. Shadow Claw. See the mastery. Then here I go. I hadn't actually seen this yet. Okay. Now I can use Shadow Claw in speed and in Uh, change moves. Let's have a look. We got Fire Fang, Aerial A, Stealth Rock, Rock Slide. Draco Meteor, Slash, Earth Power. I'm running a physical Garchomp though. Yeah. Let me see what other moves I can teach my Garchomp. Okay, we got... Oh, we already learned everything. Huh. Poison Jab is actually very good against Fairy type. Let's take that one in. And chance to poison. Confirm. Then we want to master. If I have any seeds left. He already gets picks. Yes, I get food picks. I can't believe the game is like uh, for extra requests. Do it with these Pokemon. I need to get a fucking Bidoof, Roselia, Bastiodon, Rotom, Sneasel. Sneasel is not too bad, honestly. I can get behind that. And Blissey as well. But Bidoof, a Wormadam, Magikarp, Roselia. But so be it. Let's try it again. Now that I got some more, uh, very fairy At least if I get put up against fucking, uh, flying, flying, stinking Togekiss here. Okay, let's... I'm thinking, do I just go in and smash it real hard? I'm trying. Super effective. Poisoned, that's good for me at least. He's gonna hit me twice with Moonblast though, which is not so good. Ooh, defensive stat the lowered. Moonblast again. Is that kill? Nope, not yet. I can go into Agile. That is one fucking scary start, though. They put me up against... Uh... You do get experience points for this. That is also good to know. Wait, Garchomp was only supposed to have one fight? What? What the hell? Mm. 
Let's select a different Pokemon, just for shits and giggles. Summerall's Path of Solitude. My sauce for steak could have been spicier. My only complaint to the chef, aka me playing to myself. Okay, so that's good to see. The game actually puts you in um, a fight against the about the same level, so I don't necessarily need to level up. I just need to catch one and give him right moves. The right moves. Okay, good to know. Do I still have a non-able Eevee? I actually thought I had to go fight Pokemon a freaking uh, eye level. Path of Solitude. Accept the challenge. Oh no, I didn't want to begin again. Damn it. Sometimes sauces cannot be spicy enough. Just start with normal attack. Leafage. Go into... I'm jealous of the people that can already get to play Stranger's Paradise today. Path of Solitude. What will you do? Ooh. Accept challenge. Select Pokemon. Let's see. Yeah, I do have a Alpha Eevee still lurking around. I probably should go check... If I can teach it anything, though. Let's do it. Its stats are fairly okay. Go away real quick. Cool. Change moves. Tackle, quick attack, baby doll eyes, and mimic. Let's have a look at what moves I can teach it. Focus Energy, Rest, Iron Tail, and Shadow Ball. These two are... I'm just going to teach it all the moves. Okay. Um... Nothing. Eevee. Moves. Uh, teach it. Shadow Ball. And. Iron Tail over Swift. I want an Eevee soon. I've seen two Eevees, but you haven't been able to capture them yet. Uh, I don't have any more mastery scenes. F. Well, let's try it. Path of Solitude with Eevee. Accept the challenge. Begin. I lost them because they saw me. Need to be stealthier, Lizzie. Need to be stealthier. Really? Eevee, Fayess? Holy shit. 
Um, Fezoriarch, nasty pull. It's faster than me. I can double edge. The only move that I can literally use is Iron Tail. Funky. Oh, mind. Defensive stats were raised, defensive stats were raised. Zorark, yours is Snarl. Defensive stats return to normal, that is new green. Iron Tail. Okay. That's good enough. Agile style. Use Snarl. And then a normal one to end me, I guess. Snarl. Defensive stats were lowered, that is super rude. Yeah, okay, Eevee uh, needs some power, extra power. It's probably my own fault for going into this fight like this. I saw my mashed potatoes and I was really confused on why, and then they went to a party they had. The mashed potatoes had big chunks. That's not mashed, indeed. Use a snarl this time, start off with. Defensive stats already lowered, so that's super annoying. If it's just gonna spam snarl like that, I can't really do much. Okay, nasty plot, raise attack. Moves again, bitch. Mm. Okay, Eevee. We're gonna stuff you full with some stones. So that you're stronger. Um... Faster. <sighs> Game. Oh, it's the wrong one. Mashed potatoes! Mashed potatoes! Guys, I can't wait until I move out of this place. <laughs> enough we're not gonna use the heavy stones the big stones the big bricks I still have like three two extra to find no 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 path of solitude Accept challenge, EV. Let's go. Take your time, Lizzie. You snarl, it still outspeeds, but the damage is ten times less. Hey, Sep!
A defensive stat actually lower. That's super good. Attack goes up. Can't I outspeed Zordo Arc? Oh no, are you kidding me? Agile style. Defensive stats were lowered. Snarl again. Okay, this one I'm gonna lose purely because I missed that first hit. Drop baskets. You got this, Eevee! Let's try again! All aboard! Okay, don't start off with Snarl. That's what I like to see. Nasty Cloak start. I can handle the damage. I just can... It means that I can hit the hardest first turn with Iron Tail. Now my attack will decrease. And as long as we don't miss, we should win here. <coughs> Agile Snarl. Regular Snarl. Now I just need to land one hit. Nice. Good job, Eevee. Yeah, Eevee did it. I knew you could do it. What a thrill to see your Pokemon best the Path of Solitude like that. 109. Ooh, Mastery Seed. Okay, nice. Um, let's go grab my Stonk Pokemon. Garchomp. Eevee back here. Only got two of my Eevee Lucian's Alpha so far. I really need to go try and capture more Alpha. Okay, we want you. You. I don't have... I probably should go check if I can teach any of them their better moves. Uh, or better moves. Probably the same with Arceus. Dialga and Palkia are the ones that I'm gonna bring. Special attack. Aqua is not a special attack. Earth power... don't know. Special attack as well. Flash can Iron Tail. What are the moves that... I already checked your moves, I think, for... Everything we need. Wait. Uh, Submarine. Okay, you got no... Nothing is maximized. Ceaseless Edge. Mm-hmm. Your special attacker. I think I'm gonna. Okay. Uh, Arcus. Attack over special attack. Extra sensory special, special, special. Okay, we're gonna change Arceus, obviously. Your speed down and defense up. And I think I'm gonna give you a base one because you switch from. There's a stat you guys switch over when you go from origin form to something else. 
your attack and defense down. Yeah, we're gonna do some changes here. Okay, first things first, we want a non... a passive mint. We do not have... oh wait, yeah we do, we have two passive mints, serious. Then we want a... Special attack mint. And we want a... Dang it, we don't have speed for attack. Then I guess I'm going for an attack and special attack mint. Oh no, I don't need to do that one per specifically just yet. Talk to myself. Sep, how are you doing today, dudes? Okay, that's one. Oh, wait, I need... What did I need with you again? You needed a special attack mint as well. Didn't you? Wait, yeah. Yeah, you needed a special attack mint. No speed. Special attack over attack. I'd rather have, like, none, but I guess we're going with Modest. Okay, so we have two Modest Mints. One for you. And one for you. I'm good, chillin', vibin'. Good to hear, good to hear. Dioga... Sirius and Palkia Sirius as well. Just chillin', just vibin'. Draco is already adamant. We're gonna keep that one like that. Should probably go ask for Mint's Hope. Mongo Berries, Wiki Berries, Fiji Berries, Agua Berries. Yeah, just go with a Mint Harvest. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. Can someone go make my dinner? <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look. New moves, yep. Typhlosion! Calm mind. We're not gonna teach him the physical moves, are we? No. We are gonna teach him the special moves, though. Those is physical, rock smash physical. Don't need those. Then to Summeroth. Summeroth is pretty much the same deal. We're teaching it all the physical moves. Summeroth already has quite a few things, which is pretty nice. Saves me a bit of money. Okay. Arcus. Holy shit, Arceus can learn a lot. Um, Swift, Omnus. Not poison, had no... that one, no, 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 okay, mystical fire, water pulse, charge beam, energy, icy wind, sludge bomb, 
Earth Power, Shadow Ball, Snarl, Flash Cannon, Dazzling Gleam. Um, sure, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Psychic, Dark Pulse, Draco Meteor, and Steel Beam. Jesus, 46k. I mean, I can spam freaking uh, punishment, judgment, I mean, but it's not really that great to just spam judgment. Uh, Dialga. You're all going special, so we want you to learn Steel Beam, Draco Meteor, Length Rower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam. Rest, Boke Up does. Offensive and defensive stat, that might be nice, Boke Up. Stealth Rocks, Rest can just be skipped. Balkia, Draco Meteor, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, let me see, hey, you're also a special attacker, Water Pulse, Swift, Spoke Up, okay. Okay, that's everyone currently taught all the moves. Okay, change moves of Arceus. Arceus has currently Hyper Beam, Judgment, Recover, and Extra Sensory. Extra Sensory is going to be replaced for Psychic, obviously. Because it's just purely a better move. Judgment is my go-to move for specific stuff. Um, if I keep Hyper Beam on, that would be dope, though. Just send Hyper Beam if we think we can just kill it with normal type. Otherwise, we Judgment. So I guess for the time being, we'll just keep it on that. Confirm, yes. Then the Yolga. Um, let me see. Flash Cannon is 100% accurate. Iron Tail isn't. Roar of Time we need to keep, though. Earth Power, we... Not sure. I think I'm gonna... This also damages the user. Okay, we're not using that. Draco Meteor lowers offensive stat. So I think we're going to go with Thunder on Dialga over Earth Power. And Flamethrower over Iron Tail. Flash Cannon and Roar of Time as the Dragon and Steel type moves. Stab. Then Palkia. Has the same issue. To which we're gonna say Ice Beam. Um and ancient power over Aqua Tail for a rock type move. Now, Typhlosion currently has Rollout, which is physical. We're going to get rid of that ASAP. Wild Charge, not a move that I want to learn. We're going to give him Calm Mind for setup. Overheat lowers the users. Okay, um... 
go with Mystical Fire or Shadow Ball. No, Mystical Fire over Overheat. Because it can lower... This also lowers target's offensive stats, which is good. And then Calm Mind for setup. Okay. Now, Samu Roth, my boy. Uh, Samaroth is most likely going to go with Ixizzer over Hydro. And... Let me think here. Should I do Sword Stance? Um... Sure, you know what? Over Slash, we do Sword Dance. You get a chance to set up as well. Okay. Now. The next quest. I don't even know if it's a quest. But we're going into the Dream World and accept Arceus' challenge. Nani. Magma Box, Moonlight Rock, Moonstone. Oh, okay. Give me the Magma Box as well, because I can. Magma Miser and the Smoke Bomb set. I'll at some point go and get more money if I feel like it. <laughs> you like to rest? Sleep. You can hear a voice calling to you. Will you answer the call? Yes. Arcus, Welcome to the Eternal Battle Reverie. I bestow upon thee this test of skill and luck, that thou may try to meddle in battle. Trust in thyself and see how long those canst remain victorious. Battle number one is upon thee. What wouldst thou do? Pick a challenge. What manner of challenge wouldst thy face? A steel type, space and time, or a scythe and axe? Um. Steel type. No. Do I get more if I chose this one? 12. Okay, let's see what it gives me. I need to fight both Polkia and Yoga here. <clears throat> Level 16. Okay, so we're just gonna... Dragon Claw Yoga here. With a quick one, then I'll take a hit from Palkia. No, oh, not a hit taken. I'll just do a regular on the Yoga that should finish him off. Critical hit. You defeated the Yoga. Dragon Pulse, that is not so great. But we're fine. Just do two regular Dragon Claws here. Hup, oh, or one. This is the one way probably to level up my Pokemon to level 100, other than using candy. Win battles in the Eternal Battle Reverie and further points will be thy rewards. Use these points to make wishes and gain all manner of boons ahead of thy battles. Battle number two, make a wish. What is thy wish? Restore HP, restore PP. Change lead Pokemon, inflict poison, sacrifice HP for double points. No, we'll just pick a challenge. 
male Pokemon, ghost Pokemon, bug type. Uh, let's go with ghost type, because I do have shadow, claw. Okay, this might not have been a very good idea. After all, Dusknoir is very tanky. We'll see. Physically tanky, at least. Shadow Claw. Ugh. What was I worried about? What was I even worried about? Number two. Thy victory. What will I do? Pick a challenge. Incarnate Pokemon, male Pokemon, grass type Pokemon. Um, I do have fire type. Let's make a wish. Change lead Pokemon. Requires two points. Typhlosion. Just purely for uh, to see how or what. And then... Big challenge. What's thy face? You're in game three points for grass type. Warm damn. Go Typhlosion. Okay. Uh, do we just fucking. Let's just go fucking flamethrower on this guy, strong style. Yeah, good job, Typhlosion. Everyone leveling up. Pick a challenge, let's see what's in the challenge first. Male, climbing claws, strong fence. Okay. Hey, SQ. Change lead. Yeah, Garchomp back. Thy wish is granted. What is thy wish? Big challenge. Climbing claw. Seven points. Yeah, I figured it was gonna be you. Your poison fighting types of ground should be fucking murdering your ass. On both ends, by the way. Ooh, wait a second. Oop. Can I kill Weavile with one bull weak bulldoze? Maybe. Oh wait, now it's switched to Sneezer. Going before Weavile. Use Iron Tail. Ooh, that's scary. Critical hit. Um. Dose. You defeated Weavile. Sneasel, Iron Tail, Sneasler. Okay, I can just do two regular ones in a row. Be it like that. SQ, how you doing today? I grant the seven points. Make a wish. What is restore HP? Ooh, ten? Uh, Garchop can still handle a little bit. Big challenge. Strong foes, dark type, bug type, strong defense. Uh, I think we're going after... Did I... what was the ability that I put on him again? Force third. You know, we'll go after the bug type. Oh yeah, I got poison jab. Um, need to remember that for the next time, just do a regular dragon claw. Bug buzz. It's not that effective. My defense stock got lower. It's, it's fine. Okay, 
I'm going to go uh, put toss on because otherwise I'm not going to eat dinner tonight. Oh, and that is on you. Still an upset, depressing cookie sandwich. Oh, SQ, SQ, SQ. Lunar shaped Pokemon. Strange shaped Pokemon. Climbing claws. I'm gonna make a wish. And. Restore HP. Garchomp. I grant thy wish. Nothing. Big challenge. Is this one six points? Lunar Pokemon, six points, which is legendary. But I'm going for Climbing Claws again, which gives me seven. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really matter how I do this. Um... I think we're just gonna see if I can one hit the Weavile. Iron Tail, not too bad. Kill those. Fire type, bug type, Tarian type? What the fuck? Okay, let's. That's six, right? Seven. I want to see what Tarian type is. Okay, we're up against. Do I evolve my Cyndaquil? No. You only evolve. Lizzie, only evolve your Cyndaquil if you've completed most of its. Uh, Dex entry. So all if you use all the abilities, if you use all the strong styles and agile styles, otherwise don't evolve it. Okay, that's nice. Working. Challenge Steel type, Poison type, Darien type again. Mm, no, let's go for the Therian type again. Seven. Oh, okay. Thunderous, actually. Wait, is this Thunderous or is it Tornadus? Yeah, this is Thunderous. 
Um... And as Sir David Attaboro would say, here we see the Yordi foraging for food and gathering some form of liquid for hydration in a container. Marvelous. Um, no, I'm not getting any hydration. Don't lie, Zillar. Zillar as well. Uh, relaxation. I don't want to relax, guys. No, it doesn't. Milk keeps me uh, awake. Twenty points now instead of. Okay, you get it. I get how this works, game. You motherfucker. Primordial Chaos. That sounds great. Let's go kick Primordial Chaos in the ass. Or try to kick it in the ass. Oh. Uh, this might have been a bad idea. Oh, it's just the Olga. Thank Jesus. Plus, SQ, I'm already tired today. <laughs> it's not gonna make me even more tired than I already am. I grantee 15 points! Big challenge. Dragon type, nocturnal type, or poison type. Dragon versus dragon. I'm probably the stronger dragon, so. Yeah. A way stronger dragon, guys. Way stronger. Oh man, looking forward to this region in Elden Ring. <clears throat> Where are you right now, Bobo? Hey. Hi, Bobo. Go? How you doing? Grass type, I guess. From these. 
Yeah, fighting grass type, super chill, four times a week against poison, insta win. Maybe not insta win. Should I try strong style? Yeah, fuck that, just try strong style. See if I can OTK. Uh oh. That not good, it's triple arrow. Yikes, oh, that's not a lot of damage. When stat were lowered, it's the city I got pumped though. Ooh. Crit and Drago goes down. Region on my screen. Hello. Just killed a big ass lizard with Spitfire. Gave me some kind of katana, I think. Well, though, you're a doo-doo face. Did you know that? Make a wish. 61 points. Restore HP. Obviously, we want to heal Garchul. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What are we going to fight? Pick a challenge. Grass type. Oh, Draco came back. Um, hmm. I thought I was gonna stick. Uh, never mind. What's the point of thinking, anyways? Hyper Beam. Wow. A Wormadam using Hyper Beam. If only you knew for your king, Lizzie. Yadi yadi does it. I guarantee four points. Scython X Therian Pokemon. Uh, the annoying thing about the Therian Pokemon is that they're all flying type. Wait, I do have a Pokemon with a rock type move. Make a wish. This no, this is still the same. Uh, I think it was Palkia that I gave the rock type move. I granted thy wish. Pick challenge with Therian Pokemon. 10 points, yes. I hope it's not more. Oh, god damn it. That is not good. Well, at least I didn't send fucking Garchomp in here. Uh, let's see. I don't get a speed buff. Uh, I also am not using Stab. So I guess we're just going for the weaker one first, then we go for the strong one. Offensive stat race, defensive stat race, that is nice. Springtide Storm does the- oh, good job, Pokia, that's what I like to see. Damn it! My stats got returned to normal. <laughs> okay, start with a regular one. And just to be safe- oh, I could have used Ice Beam as well. Strong style. Fuck! Semi finishing. Publicious, delicious, regulicious, delicious. Hey, 
and who is really exploding in here. But it smells great. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Pick a challenge. Fighting Scythe and Axe, large bodied Pokemon. Let's go with Scythe and Axe. Should be two Pokemons. And I'm pretty sure I just want to Hydro Pump your ass. Pray that it hits. Okay, good. Ice Beam and Scyther. Mm. That's not good. the children's left by ourselves. Ooh, primordial chaos. That's gonna be a fun one. Oh, Garchomp! Fights the primordial chaos. <laughs> Uh oh. You already made an oopsie. Yeah. Very big oopsie. Ooh, actually, Frostbitten? Mm. points. Nice, though. Can I, um... Ah, no, it costs 30. Yeah, sure. 30 points to healing Garchomp. Yeah. And 30 points to restore PP. Okay, that's it. Big challenge. Press the speed. Mill Pokemon, Scythe and Axe. Just go with impressive speed.
Well then, it's good that you realized ahead of time that you're not the Dodo King. <laughs> Hmm. Bad choice, you already bad choice. We're sad. challenge. Yeah, let's just go into Terra Primordial Chaos again. I don't know, you should ask Lizzie. fight future beginnings <laughs> who called who what He's going insane. Did I? <clears throat> Honestly, I probably did. And I probably forgot. Oh. Oh, you're not a king. Not even close. <laughs> you're the king of your own own toilet. Pokemons of the lake. Uh, let's go with Pokemons of the Lake. Fun these. <clears throat> See how hard I get destroyed. Hmm. Sep, again. You guys are kings of your own toilet seats.
Submit. <laughs> Sep is going all out. Sepp loves his new title, a new crown, as the Doodoo -doo King. Oh. <clears throat> Pick a challenge. Poison type, brown type, the forbidden Pokemon. Okay, that sounds interesting. But let's uh, change my lead if that's the case. Brown type, right? Uh, Pokia is still. Let's go with Summerall this time. Did they actually send the freaking... Okay. Fucking wish cash at me. That's really a great ground type. Sure, Sep. Sure. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna send Typhlosion. Which French-related last was that? <clears throat> you already the twat of Doodoo -doo Nation. It's getting ironic. How interesting. <laughs> Oops. Uh, ghost type, male Pokemon. Ghost type only gives me five. Climbing claws give me 12. Cookies for everyone. Who's used a psychic but didn't kill? So sad. Ooh, close combat. That's nasty.
Again. Even nastier. What the heck? You can survive, right, Arcus? Don't let the Weefall murder your ass. Good, Arcus. Also, Sep, really? Taxes? Taxes! I need to get snacks tomorrow. I miss snacks. Pick challenge. Psychic, impressive speed, mechanical Pokemon. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> I love two certain things is life in life. Taxes. Oh, it is Rotom. Nice. Oh, there are no effects in this game, so yeah, Rotom should be cooked! <clears throat> Ooh, Rotom survived. What a bitch. Shadow Ball! Defensive stats were lowered. Shadow Ball! Cookie Texas. <laughs> I think you guys are crazy. I ain't paying no taxes. My taxes are streaming for you guys. As the god of this world. Fighting type male Pokemon. Let's go with male Pokemon this once. Don't look at me, I already did my taxes. That is why we're looking at you, Lizzie. It's level 100, I'm 83, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> no, let's go with uh, Judgment Dane. Wait, Lander is actually a fucking bad idea to turn Ice into. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just dumb. Don't edge. Oh yeah, definitely bad idea. Oh, not good enough to kill. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go into Judgment again. Fuck that. I'm always dreaming. Aren't you guys a, a figment of my imagination? Uh, steel type, strong defense. Wait, I'm gonna get hyper beamed here for sure. Uh, let's start with a regular recover. Psychic. Yeah, that's not too bad. Do another recover. <clears throat> and then... I 
thinking. Should I psychic or should I just hit it with all I got? No, let's just psychic. I got a few recovers left. So we can use that and the oh damn. Take it back. Warm Dom is not working with me. You bitch. I grant thee 12 points. Battle number 26, you have 84 points. What is it you want to do? 40 points to recover all PP of all Pokemon. Okay, let me have a look at uh, the challenges. Spear and shield. Steel type. Rock type. I think we're going with steel type. And we're making a switch to Garchomp. Garchomp should think be completely healed up at this point. Steel type. <clears throat> oh, this motherfucker again. Yeah. Good. Bulldoze. Is your head filled with cookies, and why does the door say Doo Doo Kingdom? <laughs> Seriously? Because you guys doo doo. I have pasta with chicken. Guys, you guys seriously don't know what a doo-doo is? A doo-doo is poop. See, Zillar knows. Only four points. Ground type, five points. I think we're going for the little Pokemon for now. Bobo, the regular pasta, like the one you eat for dinner. Better be a guru king than a golden peasant. No, that is chocolate paste. I wonder how far I can bring this incarnate one, one eyed Pokemon. Is that Darkrai? We'll see. Nine points. Shit and energy is. <laughs> is ener <laughs> Shit and garbage is energy, so it's money. Are you selling garbage to Sweden and they make cheap energy of it? Wow. Now that's a twist. Country in Europe sells garbage to Sweden. Really? Why the fuck would would anyone buy garbage? Scython X, mechanical Pokemon. 
Yeah, let's go with mechanical Pokemon, it's fine. They make mad money out of it. Okay. If you guys say so. I tr trust y'all's judgment. You're smart people, after all. <clears throat> Zillar, you were here when we made when we talked about this. I don't use tissues. I use a towel and then wash it in the washing machine. <laughs> Bobo, nobody here knows who Dorn is except the two of us. Oh wait, Zidler. Wait, does Zidler know? Yeah, Zidler knows, right? Right? Ray? I do, yes, thank god. My memory is not complete ass. Space and time. Sure, let's go do space and time because I'm crazy ass motherfucker. Fifty points, Jesus. Twenty points for space and time. <clears throat> See, I'm glad that my brain is not complete garbage. Uh oh. Goodbye, my Draco Malfoy. See, I can sit here and talk about these disgusting stuff while eating, problem, but you put on Dr. Pimple Popper now, I will just put aside my food. We're not putting a... <clears throat> We're not gonna do that, no, because I uh, don't find that uh, very appetizing either. Even though I already just had dinner. <sighs> Spatial rent on the yoga, please hit. Ugh, Palkia, yeah, why are you dumbass? I just got roared at time. Got roared at. And now my Palkia is dead. And now comes my Dioga. That's just gonna die to Spatial Rend, because... Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. Or Kuchi, we're okay. Okay, Roar of Time on Dioga. I, I seriously cannot watch something like Pimple Popper, Dr. Pimple Popper, uh, Zillar. It's like, it's just too much. Probably doesn't kill him. Oh, does. Nice. Restore Garchomp's HP. And then change lead Pokemon to Dioga. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Pick a challenge. Who dost thou wish to face? I'm playing as Dioga. Mm, hey, flying type would work. Actually, because we have Thunderbolt and Dioga. Um, I don't. Hell no. Actually, 
actually uses Roost. That is fucking smart. Because it now ain't no flying type anymore. Start with a weak flash cannon. And then go into a regular flash cannon. SQ is too innocent to have a fetish, Lizzie. Come on now. I reward you with five points. Ground, strange shaped Pokemon or bug. Yeah, I might as well go with bug. <sighs> Why the heck are you asking then, SQ? <laughs> Sure, Sep, sure. <laughs> if her fetishes are innocent people. Primordial Chaos! Yeah, let's just make this shit insanely hard for myself by fighting Primordial Chaos again. Those quiet ones are the crazy ones. Nope! There goes Draco. There's no way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good job, boyo. Surviving a fucking war of time to the face. That's what I like to see. Inconspicuous. I grant thee 30 points! Let me see what's in, on the list. Hisuian beginnings, fighting type, steel type. Okay. How much does it... I have 77 points. How much does it cost for me to actually heal my Pokemon up? 60. Ah, uh, we're sacking Garchomp. If he survives, he lives. If he doesn't, he dies. Asuian beginnings, 12 points. Go. Do we fight multiple or just one? Okay, just Typhlosion. Which actually dies to a fucking bulldoze, hopefully, because it's a fire type. Crap. Draco's dead. Arsus! Arcus! Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna psychic you. We're not gonna. You, oh crap. Maybe I should have actually. Nah, Arcus can handle it. Plus, he has recover. <clears throat> Psychic deck. Pick challenge. 
Poison type. And I can just spam Psychic. Agile style. Sludge Bomb, please don't poison, please don't poison, please don't. Fuck. Big Buzz. You piece of shite. Last hit with Psychic. Good job, Arcus. Proud of you. One eyed. Yeah, let's go with the one eyed Pokemon. Nine points. Oh. It's Magnemite. Use Recover. Thunder Whip. Magnemites, I don't like you very much right now. Yeah, doo doo brain. Stood in front of a poster. It read, Light is light, dark is dark. Without one, there wouldn't be another. Don't be afraid of either and live on. Tiller was confused. <laughs> Corsiller is confused. <laughs> Male Pokemon, Grass Pokemon, Primordial Chaos. I do like Primordial Chaos. Always gives me a lot of points, but it's also very scary. <laughs> Ooh, Geratina. Uh, Just hit it with judgment. Wow. Uh, go for it, Lizzie. Like, I really don't know. If you should or shouldn't do it. Um, strong style might finish it off. If not, then I'm just dead next turn. Yeah, fuck. Goodbye, Arcus. You did a good job. It's a pity, but thy challenge had to come to an end. Thy victory is this time number 36. Fare thee well until we meet again. Do I not even get anything from it? Do I get anything from it? Like, uh, am I just uh, dead? Oh, I was about to say. 8 EXP Candies XL, 8 Grit Petals, 4 Grit Rocks, Eight nuggets, five seeds of mastery, eight rare candies. Whoa, that is actually not bad. But the flashing is annoying me. Thank God someone found my uh, lost satchel. Got my shit back. Uh oh Um 
Uh, I'm gonna sell my nuggets. So I'm gonna use my rare candies and my XL candy. If I remember how to do anything in this game. Okay, XL candy. Use all on Arcus. Arcus. Two more levels, boyo. Oh, wait. Let's use my L candies as well. Who's leaving? Bubbo! Good night, dude. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Okay, nice. 15. Um, four. Ten. Ten. And 11. Why? Because again! <laughs> because I can! Oh, here they are. Stop pressing the fucking wrong buttons already. Good. Better. Bye bye. Bye bye. Are they done there yet? No. Sir, I wish to sell you shit. Not actual shit, though. Good shit. Thank you. Path of Solitude. Accept the challenge. Please choose one Pokemon to battle with. Wait, why the fuck is this Eevee all the way over here? Move. You're spo- Oh, wait, this is another Eevee. Oh, I didn't even realize I had another one. Okay, um... Let's start with Arcus. Anyone else gets dizzy that they feel their body sinking? A lot. Often. All the fucking time. You chose Arcus as your lone Pokemon. Wonder what he's gonna throw at me <laughs> during this uh, one. Wait, seriously? Oh, it's three Pokemon at the same time. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, let's just start with uh, Judgment on Decidueye. Was like, I otherwise I'd be way too uh, easy. Oh, Decidueye actually survived. Walk slide, okay. Summeroth is looking around. The Deuce, Agile style. Psycho Cut. Agile style, rock slide, rude. Summerolf is still looking around. Can I, am I, no, I'm still not allowed to move, fuck my life. Typhlosion is looking around, Summerolf is looking around. Yo, stinkies.
Not cool, yo. Calm Minds. It's also kind of Garbo. Okay, uh, let's start with... Agile style recover. It's fun when it reaches your tummy. Why is that fun? <sighs> Ziller, your guess is as good as mine, mate. Infernal Braid. Don't burn. Critical hit. Agile style. Mega Horn. Okay. Infernal Braid normal. Summerolf is looking around. Okay. Uh, we're going back to a regular recover. Burn a parade again. Some rolls is looking around. Okay, we're just gonna finish off the flotion here. Judgment. It's falling, but by the power, it doesn't. Summerolf uses Mega Horn! Hyper B. Useless Edge, that's about one for me. Sad, cannot use items. Arcus is healed. Takes a bit of damage. Thinking. No, that's not gonna be enough. So what I'm gonna do is just land a weak one. And next turn we'll hit it with a hard one. Poison jab. Sure, SQ, sure. <laughs> oh, splendid! Arceus has reached the final station on its path of solitude. Added a mark to Arcus's thingy. XP candies. Now I want to do a path of solitude with. No! Fuck! I just did this one! Can I, uh... Forfeit? This is a serious battle! Running is not an option! Yaddy yaddy dizzy! <clears throat> Calm minds. Dick a dewey. Ceaseless edge this early on, that is kinda rude. Not gonna lie. Triple arrow. It's good effective. Defensive stats were lowered. The Sidui is getting pumped. Pump that shit! Flamethrower. 
Runes. Some roll to use Iron Tail. Arcus avoid it. Good job, Arcus. And triple arrow. <laughs> Arcus is gonna go down. That's fine though. I didn't want to do this one again with Arcus. Some rolls looking around. Guys, like, done. <laughs> dummy, 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 yo, dummy, dummy, yo. Dummy dummy. Dummy dummy. Tsuki tsuki de. Nah, it's not that hard. I first tried it previously. But I wanted to select a different Pokemon. I didn't want to do it with Arcus again. Select Pokemon. Yeah. Move. Um let's go with Yolka this time. Yes. See what we're up against in uh, with the Yolga battle. <coughs> if it's again three against one, that's super rich. Again three against one. Okay. Um Yolga is steel type. So I need to get rid of Decidueye and need to get rid of this boyo here. <sighs> okay, we'll start with Decidueye, honestly. Where is he? Start with the normal flamethrower. Oh, this one is only level 50. Jesus. I've got nothing to worry about. Except now I do. It just got burned. <laughs> uh, let's just roar off time to Typhlosion. If I hit, that is. Oops, I don't hit. There's Aqua Tail. Come on. Good war of time. Bam! What's up, Lizzie? What are you eyeing about? Oh yeah, there's still something that I need to look up. Pop the EV! Yay! Yata! Good job, Lizzie! Now release it. And do it again! Okay, sorry. Hmm. Solitude! Except... No. We want to do it with... Olkia this time. Let us begin. Uh, trick strategy, we did that one. Massive mass outbreak in Iceland, daybreak. We'll start immediately after completing 101 in the Obsidian Field Lands. Digging for tomorrow, we did that. Battling the Secret Corpse, we did that. We did the ultimate balloon race. Adamant's Hope. At Ginkgo Landing and Cobalt Coastlands. And Irida's Wish. Okay. Ice Beam the Decidueye. 
we do have Pat of Soul Toot. Okay, now at least I know where the last two uh, requests are. Obviously, I've already, like, showed off the Path of Solitude right a few times now. I'm not gonna go do the requests at this very moment for the Path of Solitude. I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I need to go catch specific Pokémon and then put points into it, and I just don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Path of Solitude. Three XP candies, though, are pretty nice. Path of Solitude. I do want to, like, uh, do the challenge with the six Pokémon that I leveled up so far. So Typhlosion and Summeroth still need to be done. And we already did uh, Drago, of course. A.K.A. Garchomp. You chose Summeroth. Yeah, boy. The Eternal Battle Reverie, Path of Solitude, Tenacity, all aboard! <sighs> Let me see. Let's start with Sword Stance. Critical hit. Now go into X Scissor. Ow, my knee. Oh, wait, did we do some roll already? I think we did. But I'm pretty sure we did not do Typhlosion yet. Pretty certain about it, boy. 27th of February, this is when this game came out. Uh, this uh, update came out. A game. Okay, who's better? My uh, giant ass shiny Summeroth? Oh wow. He's actually strong against everything that my Typhlosion has. Oops. Agile and style, Aqua Jet. Thankfully, I set up defenses. Start with the Mystical Fire to lower its attack. Thankfully, I'm level 90 and Summerolf is only level 60. <laughs> Though, levels don't really matter in this game that much. Inferno Parade! Sides didn't burn. Well, I win. I win, I win, I win. Say what, Nani? I win. Like I said, I win. Uh. Okay, so Coastlands and... Din, 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 din. Coastlands. 
Coach Lance and Crimson in Ireland. Okay. Can you um, put my Pokemons back, please? Artus. I bet we need to bitch slap uh, Irida and uh, Adamon. Okay, let me actually have a look, right? Where is this uh, extra... Oh, there it is. Nice. Damn, that's gonna take a lot of time if you actually uh, try to do that with everything. Can't really say that's worth it. Crimson Myrlands first. Diamondo Settlement. Hello again, Jordi. I felt your presence nearby while I was playing my flute earlier. Came here to, to play for the Diamond Clan so they can hear the melodies of my clan holds dear. Oh, but seeing you reminds me. I've learned more about the Lustrous Globe. It seems to hold the power to transform Mighty Palkia into the, its otherworldly form, if you can believe that. Listen, I want to battle Mighty Palkia. I want to prove to myself that when the Pearl Clan worships Mighty Palkia, thinking it was Almighty Sinnoh, our belief at least was real. Please help me do that. Use the Lustrous Globe to transform Mighty Palkia and bring it al alone to battle me. Damn it, woman! <laughs> You're gonna make me travel all the way back just to put all my Pokemon away so that you can battle Mighty Palkia. Yari yari dazi. It's a good thing I leveled it up to 90. You got it! Forward into this great white world takes bravery and determination. Determination! Flareon, Glaceon, and Espion. Okay. 65. Ancient power, the Glaceon. Hmm, survives. Psychic. I do bump. That might be a little bit overkill on this small ass espion. Shiza. Come on, Palkia, destroy this puny little evolution. Battle decided. Yeah, are you happy, Irida? 
I destroyed your Pokemon the sheer power of Mighty Palkia. It's as unfathomable vast as space itself. I'm in awe before it. That was incredible. Must have been the Pearl Clan's almighty Sinnoh. The leader can really hold her own in battle, too. Did you hear that? The people of the Diamond Clan praised our almighty Sinnoh. They praised mighty Polkia. I want to take this spirit of respecting and cherishing one another. Spread it throughout fast history. We'll do it through battling. I've decided on behalf of the entire Pearl Clan, we will bring our battles to Jubilee Village training ground to let these ideals flourish. Okay. Irida, you crazy. You don't stand a chance, woman. You only want to fight Palkia. Pff. Just wait until I send Palkia, Dioga, Arcus, Arcus, and Giratina at your ass. Okay. I've hyped enough. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> La da 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 na 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 na. Chancy. Uh, now Adelman wants to fucking fight his almighty Sinnoh. No, it's just a tree. Like, what do you fuck? But it was just a tree! Ooh, all oh, fuck, let me out. Question, Yordi, why are you not writing one of your, uh, Pokemon to the, to the location? Because I'm a dimwit. You know, times change a lot of things, but the sea stays the same. The Celestica people must have looked out at this exact same view long ago. I've got a favor to ask, Gordy. Something the matter? It's about my grand uh, something my grandfather told me. He said the adamant crystal has the power to change mighty Dialga into the other into its otherworldly form. Whoa. I want to see if all the strength my partners and I have got... I want to see if all the strength my partners and I have got is enough to take down Mighty Dioga in that otherworldly form. Adamant's hope. My Dioga gave us all the gifts, all the gift of time, and I want to see its real power in battle. Let's do it. My Dialga, let me stand before you as the leader of the Diamond Clan to find out in battle what I'm really made of. Friend request sent. Send me free Pokemons. <laughs> Flamethrower Leafeon. Darkipuls. Orion use Aqua Tail but misses. Flash Cannon. And Thunderbolt. Busy begging for Pokemons. Sheer power of mighty Dioga. 
It's too much to comprehend. I'm still shaking even now. But through our battle, I think I understood the will of, Almight of Mighty Dioga. Isn't that amazing? When you battle all out with someone, you really understand them. Imagine if everyone in Hisui partnered up with Pokémon to express themselves through battle. Living here would be even more fun. I think I'll have my clan's folk starting, start training up at Jubilife's training ground. Hope we can count on seeing you there, Jordy. Damn. Pokemon, gotta catch him, it's you and me. I know it's my destiny, Pokemon. Oh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. Pokemon. Power so true. Our courage would pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. Okay, let's see. Do I have... I think I have an Alpha Bidoof somewhere, right? Maybe just in my imagination. Yeah, I think in my imagination. I do have a few Bidoof. We'll level, we'll do one Bidoof challenge. Return to the village! Lizzie wants them all. She wants to not have to work for her Pokemon. Right, Lizzie? Right, 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 right. I'm kidding, lol. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Is this Bidoof any good, even? Check summary. Oh, this Bidoof is garbage, but who cares? Let's see what I can teach it. I can teach it Rock Smash, Delth Rock, Swift, Iron Tail. Let's just teach it whatever it needs. Level 13 Bidoof. <sighs> Change moves. We got rollout, which is pretty decent. Tackle. And bite. I think I want to give it a... May also... This may also... Stealth Rock would be dope. Just to be a pain in the ass. And let's give it Thunderbolts, whatever. Or Ice Beam. Thunderbolts? Thunderbolts. Over Tackle, obviously. What the fuck, man. Ta da! Okay, let's go try this with Bidoof. Path of Solitude. Accept the challenge. Begin! Okay, let's see what Bidoof is up against. Okay, Bidoof is Eevee. It's actually kind of unanticipated. What level is the Eevee, though? Rude. It's fucking level 50! How's my puny Bidoof supposed to fight that? <laughs> Okay, give me a sec. I'll be right back. <laughs> Running to the stash.
moping to himself. I can put fifty cents out of fucking level fifty towards my. <laughs> okay. But do 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 do. Move all. Oh. Okay, at least I know that I don't. That I can change something. Do I use stones on this guy? No, I'm just gonna level it over 50. Use 67. See how many levels that is. Okay, 38, it's nowhere near enough. Fifty-six HP, HP, HP. Sixty-one. Sixty-one should be good enough. Let me see what your new moves are. Double edge, rest, crunch. Crunch is way better than bite. Uh, roll out four sword stems. Okay. Okay, now my mighty Bidoof should be able to handle stupid Eevee at level 50, right? I really thought they, that this Path of Solitude was something that was uh, adapted to the level of your Pokémon. But boy, was I wrong. Okay, Bidoof, I know you're slow. You can do this. Show this stupid Eevee what real power is. Okay, that sucks. Uh, start with Stealth Roll. Be a pain in the ass against the Eevee. If it tries to attack us, it takes damage. Quick attack again. Damn, Bidoof has no defense whatsoever. You know what? Let's just go hardball crunch, see how much damage. Bidoof! Me hard. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we win. Good job, Bidoof! You did it! Bartio, what the fuck, mate? <laughs> <laughs> he just comes in here, be is like, "Bidoof me harder, daddy." The Bartio, how are you doing, dude? Okay, good job. Stupid little uh, thing. Where are the things that I need to do with Bidoof, anyways? To get him maxed out. I just need to catch a bunch and catch seven heavy specimen. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Not sure if I have to evolve it, but we're just gonna see. We might as well evolve it and then instantly do uh <laughs> that pad of solitude as well. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna freaking do all of these paths uh, solitude. It's like, just way too much, but... Doing a few of them could be okay. Okay, let's go by barrel. See what we're up against this time. Oh wait, by barrel is fucking water type. Okay, we're level 60, Thunder Wave. That is already a bad start. By barrel might be unable to move. 
stealth rock. Yeah, that's just to be annoying. Thundershock. Yikes, that is a pain. No. Let's see how much Crunch does. Not that much. Okay, Thundershock, bye 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 barrel. Normal water, yeah. And I was like, oh, why the fuck does it send out Luxio? Now I got it. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to change the plan. Change moves. Uh, let me see. Water Pulse, Aqua Tail, Shadow Ball. It's not gonna do me any good, is it? Yeah. Let me have a look. Can I teach it anything new? Bulldoze. Ayy, that is what we like to see. Hyper Beam. And Giga Impact. Uh, buy barrels. Uh, let's just buy both. Who fucking cares? Okay. Uh, buy barrel. Your physical. I uh, figures. Okay, check summary. No, that's the wrong one. Check moves. Bulldoze over that. And you get impact over crunch. And then we want to master bulldoze. Okay. Next, we run back to our fucking stash. <laughs> we grab every single XP candy we have left. We open by Barrel's mouth. Pump all that XP candy in there. And all the rare candies. Okay. Moist. And we go back. And we go back to the path of solitude. And even though Luxray is one of my favorite electricity Pokemon, we're gonna smack its ass way back to tomorrow. Or yesterday. Something like that. Level 77, phase level 16. We got this. Seriously, I can still can't lower its fucking speed. That's so frustrating. Uh. Let's just start with a bulldoze. At least I get to go first this time. Thundershock. Yeah, 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 yeah. My butthole. And then we go for... Stream style bulldozer. And we win. Good job by Barrel. Now, when I release you at some point with all your buddies... You can show them how it's done. Be the strongest by barrel that there is. Oh, tears in my eyes. Hey. <sighs> Shouldn't I have like an alpha by barrel? Oh, who the fuck cares? I put points in this thing. Screw you. Screw you, old man! You made me use things I never thought I'd use. <laughs> Good Lord. Good Lord Jesus Christ. Lady, 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 can you take my bi-barrel back? 
and uh, bring my Garchomp back in the field. Thank you. Okay. I got way too much shit in here right now. Uh, let me think. Do I keep these Cherubi because they're hard to come by? Yeah, I think I do. Uh... Stupid Cherubis. Purely so that I can level them up. And eventually get a uh, maxed out status on them and evolve them into their evolution. Even though I need to find that evolution in the tree sub at some point as well, right? Let me have a look. I've only had a shiny drift <laughs> limb so far. Ah, funny. Same as these Wormadams, but those are easy to get out of trees. Uh, where are you guys? Still need to have 15 in total. And 15 in total for you. Uh, technically, I could just get rid of them then. Because I don't need anything else. I know where I can find Cherubi now anyways. It's fine. Okay. Release multiple. I worked very hard to complete my Pokedex for the Luxio line. Luxio, Swings, and Luxray. Fuck, these Bonesleys are level fucking 60, mate. Crazy ass motherfuckers. Crazy ass motherfuckers. Release! Heck yeah, fam. Okay, show me the money! Ow. Thirty-seven dust. Sixty-seven grad full, that's better. Fifteen rocks. And forty-four pebbles. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Fairly nice. Organize the books. Okay, go up, press left, then that's right. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, that is it for Pokemon Legends Arceus as a extra stream. What was I going to say again? 
Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any more free patches for this game, so... Or any DLC. So we're not going to be streaming or making a video on this game anymore. This is the official final... Unless something happens and they add more stuff. Uh, Lizzie, see you tomorrow, maybe. Good luck tomorrow at work. Labaccio, thank you very much for hanging out with me tonight. This a little bit. Zillar, my dude. You as well, thank you for hanging out. And Sep as well, everyone. Thank you very much for chilling tonight. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening. I'm gonna go take my medication and I am going to bed because Yordi is done. Yordi doesn't want to be awake anymore tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Until next time, sweet dreams and uh, adios.